Free your mind and your spirit. Hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with some pieces from Monster Fight Club. Everything but these two minis comes from that company, and every single one of these comes pre-painted, uh, there's no putting together any parts, and I think that for modularity and tables that you can take on the go or always change and do stuff, that these might be some of the my favorite pieces I've ever bought. I'd like to share with you what I think of them and a little bit more detail of what they're like. So without further ado, let's take a look. Just a disclaimer, everything you see in the video, unfortunately, was sponsored by me, <laughs> not Monster Fight Club. Uh, they don't know me at all, and I don't blame them, but I do believe in their product, especially after getting a few sets, and I think you should too. So give them a chance and go to their website. Okay, to start things off right, I think we should go with the rocks. Uh, they're very simple, but man, are they effective. Uh, you have a lot of detail here. There's a lot of platforms for your minis to walk on. They add elevation. They can be cliffs. They can be valleys. They can be anything you want them to be. They look good. Then you get bushes. You have small bushes, and you have big bushes. The big ones being about three times bigger. They are very useful because not only are they durable, uh, they're not going to shed on your table, and you can even hide stuff inside them because they're hollow. So if I had a bunch of sneaky adventurers, or if I wanted to hide some treasure, I could totally do something like that, say, like that. Next up we have the trees. There's a verdant and an autumn forest set. Surprisingly enough that the autumn set is a lot cheaper, don't know why, but every single set comes with a little mat that's double sided. One has leaves and one has a lake. They are so cool. One is good enough, but getting a whole bunch of sets gives you something like this. Now in every one of those boxes you also get a stump, just one stump. But, it is useful, you can hide stuff in it, uh, it gives you variety. If you get a couple like me here, maybe you have a part of a forest that's been trimmed down. It is something that I really enjoy. Just this variety makes the game so much better in my opinion. So the trees are fantastic. As you can see, they're pretty tall, they have a lot of detail on them. They're pretty similar, but they are different. I wish that you could bend them a little bit, but uh, it's something you sacrifice for durability. Now I did get a whole bunch of them, <laughs> as you can see, and I am not mad at myself for it. Now the toppers are what make the trees really come to life. Of course you have the orange and the green version, and they even have a pink and a blue somewhere on the website. Every single one of these boxes come with three different kind of shapes of toppers, so you got small, medium, and large again. They look very similar, but you can stack them on top of each other and make a super tree or, you know, whatever you can kind of come up with. It is a lot more fun than you might think it is. Now, I gotta say that I'm a huge fan of the orange ones, and I think that having two different colors really adds to the table. I don't know if I'm going to be getting the blue or the pink ones. They seem a little more Feywild, but then again, I like Feywild stuff, so maybe. But as you can see, they're easy to put on, easy to take off. Um, you're not going to tear these up, and that's a big plus for me. You can see kind of a basic setup on the map. Now we're in autumn time, and finally we're going to go to the forest time. Oh, maybe even add a little rock there and some bushes. And that's pretty much it. As simple as these seem, uh, I don't have to worry about 3D printing them wrong. I don't have to worry about them breaking. I don't have to worry about time making them. 
Um, they do come unpainted or painted, but they look great the way they come. And I'm sure you could always spice them up if you wanted to. Um, you could throw them in a box and they're going to be okay. I like crafting things, but I can't do this with the stuff I craft. And it just takes all the worry out. So there is a time and place for this, and there's a time and place for crafting stuff. But if you're on the fence about if this is worth it, don't be. It totally is, and you should get on board. As always, thank you for watching. I hope that you got something useful out of this, and I'll see you again next time. Take care. Happy gaming. Go in peace.